top of the top of the morning to you. Say top of the morning, Diesel. Mm, top of the morning. Oh boy, look at you, all tired and stuff. Do you sleep good? That's a good boy. Oh, it is what? What is it today? What is it? Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. Oh, there it is. Morning burp. So we slept good. It was a good sleep. We are in, uh, oh, where are we? We're in Ontario somewhere. We're in Tweed, Ontario. Tweed. No, Pulse of Tweed. Napanee. Somewhere in there. Ontario, Canada. Oh, it's going to be a good day today. It is going to be a good day. We're at uh, a Flying J truck stop here. And there's all kinds of stuff going on outside. People moving around. Purchasing stuff. Being consumers. Delivering stuff. There are people buying fuel over there. All kinds of people still sleeping over there. And there. And there. Almost time for me to do my pre-trip and get ready to hit the road. Absolutely. I love driving. Anyways guys, how was your night? What did you do? You probably slept. That was a dumb question. Dumb question, Trucker Josh. Face palm. Okay, so let's get ourselves woken up. Let's get ready. Let's get out there. Walking a weasel. Every day we're just walking a weasel. Oh man, there's some grass. Give her. Good boy. Oh, so it's a beautiful morning outside. It feels good. It's a nice temperature. It's kind of foggy outside though. That's the 401 over there. You can hardly see. All the vehicles going back and forth. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. That is quite the full day that we have planned for today. Uh, from here to Cross Point, Quebec is just over a thousand kilometers, about 620 miles. So it's about a full day's worth of driving. I would say, well, 10 hours of highway driving 11 hours of highway driving maybe so we'll see if we even make it that far today uh, we've got to either unload there this afternoon or tomorrow morning either one works for me and the customer I'm just bring them one box like I did to tweed yesterday and then once we bring them their box and they're happy and tomorrow we would meander our way over to the ferry it's an eight-hour ferry which has taken us to Newfoundland Newfoundland diesel yeah, where all the moose are. <laughs> where all the moose are. Newfoundland is known for their excessive amount of moose. Uh, and they're not even native to the island. Someone brought them there, and then they overpopulated. And now, for some reason, you're not allowed to hunt them, or there's a huge limit on how much you can hunt or something. I don't know why. Maybe they should, you know, open hunting season for a little longer, get some of those moose out of there. You know? or capture them and bring them back where they belong. But, oh well. What can you do? Part of being in Newfoundland, that's why I'm getting a moose bumper, but I don't have my moose bumper yet, so we're just gonna be very careful and try to drive during the day. Start the day off with some fuel. And they are wrapping the pumps here too. Remember how I saw that in Wisconsin? They're wrapping up the DEF this year. What are your guys' opinions? Do you think that that's gonna help? Uh, I'm referring to when last winter, how when it went below minus 10 Celsius or like 15 Fahrenheit, right away the DEF pump would freeze and you couldn't use it. So do you think that insulation will be enough? Let me know in the comments section. I know it'll help, definitely. I don't know if it'll help in Manitoba <laughs> in minus 50. But at least they're doing something, right? That is solid effort. Solid effort. A plus for effort. 
So I guess we're just gonna see how it does this winter. I mean, you're gonna see how it goes if you have DEF or AdBlue. It's DEF out here. Diesel exhaust fluid. It's a pointless fluid that people put in their new trucks because the new trucks require it to operate. It just makes the truck burn cleaner. I mean, it does help a little bit, but it's kind of pointless. It's kind of pointless. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> three chewy granola bars and three packages of fruit snacks. I love fruit snacks. Don't you remember when you went to school and your mom would pack you all those nice little lunches and they had the fruit snacks? I miss those, so I bought myself some fruit snacks the other day. I wonder what else I have in here. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, Pop tarts. Pop tarts. Pop tarts. Well, I still have Pop tarts on the dash. Never mind. I didn't eat them yesterday. I'm not very hungry in the morning. I don't eat a lot in the morning. I don't know why. I'm just not a morning kind of eater. I don't know. How about you guys? Do you eat a lot in the morning? I don't know. I eat a little. Sometimes not at all. Sometimes I'll skip breakfast and I'll be totally fine until lunch. And then I'll eat a big lunch and then a smaller supper, usually. I don't eat a lot. I'm not really that hungry all the time. I don't know. We're here at the Odessa on route in Ontario. We'll go this way. They got Tim Hortons here, so why not? I'm gonna check it out. They also got gas stations here and stop signs and rocks. Why did I choose to walk here? It's very hard to walk on the rocks. the English. Click here to browser. Tanta de Curie. Is that right, you French people? Tanta de Curie. Probably got that way wrong. It means yours to discover. I'm trying to figure out how to discover it. If it's mine to discover, how do I discover it? English. I want it. Oh, well, anyways, yeah, you go on these things here in the in the on-roads and it'll tell you different places that you can discover, right? Oh, things to do. Oh, cool. Let's, let's discover things to do. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm holding this camera terribly. I don't even know if this is picking up. What's it doing? I don't know how to use this thing. Anyways. When you come to the on route, you can come back here to this little thing. In the back corner here, all by yourself, and you can figure out things to do, places to go, stuff like that in Ontario. How come Manitoba doesn't have fancy rest areas like this? Well, that's right, because there's nowhere to go and nothing to do. That's right. <laughs> it's Manitoba. Well, what do we got here? 
on route provincial map. See, this is southern Ontario. See, northern Ontario goes up there, right? And then it goes over to Manitoba there. What I mean when I'm talking about southern Ontario is where all the people are. See where all the roads are. Just like that. So we are, let's see, this is Ontario here, right? Uh, Michigan is here. This is Detroit down here. Uh, New York is here. There's Buffalo around there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Buffalo. Niagara Falls is there. Okay. This is Toronto, right? Just to give you an idea of where I am. Uh, I am here. Does it say you are here anywhere? What kind of map doesn't tell me where I am? It's supposed to tell me where I am. Well, I know we delivered in Tweed. So we're around here somewhere anyways. On our way to Quebec. Oh, see, here's the picture of Northern Ontario, see? That's Southern Ontario, and then it goes up there, continues down here for some reason. It goes up around here, and then over there is Manitoba. Mm, I'm a happy man now. It's very foggy out today. Kind of one of those spooky kind of days. We've had a couple of wet, miserable days. Now it's a spooky kind of day. Which doesn't help. I hope it's not foggy when we go to Newfoundland because then you know, the moose. They hide in the fog, they're everywhere. Are you filming, are you focused? Good. Well guys, so that was, uh, I wanted to show you one of these on routes. Uh, so I finally got to do that. And there wasn't a lot of people in there to stare at me, so made it a little bit easier. <laughs> well, we got her done. We hopefully turned out. I haven't looked at the footage. I'll do that later on when uh, I got nothing else to do. But I got to get going now, so I will see you a little bit later. Hang in there. Days always on. Looking good, man. Looking good. Oh, this is my good side, man. Oh, my good side. This is. You can get Lucy's watching. You talking about Lucy while you're making cat calls at other dogs. What are you, a player? I didn't raise no player. Not very nice, man. Not very nice. What are you looking at? What are you looking at over there? Is there someone over there? Is there someone over there? Oh, oh I think there is, man. Who's that? Is he, is he doing what I think he's doing? Oh no, he's working on his truck. I thought he may be relieving some pressure. No, he's just working on this truck. So we are at, where are we? There it is. Flying J Travel Plaza, it's over there. Uh, somewhere in Ontario, close to Quebec. I didn't even know this one was here until now. And now we know it's here, here it is. Here's proof, it's here, see it exists. I don't care what you say, I'm not imagining it. There's actually a lot of pumps here. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pumps. You'd think with that many pumps, they'd have more parking spaces. This place probably packs right up at night, I bet. Good thing it's not night. Anyways, we are in Lancaster. Oh, I got an itchy ear. You ever have that? It's like. <laughs> Oh, oh, so much better. <sighs> You're putting your shoes on, man. Does that mean we're going outside? I see you putting your shoes on. I'm just wondering if that means we're going outside. Would you like to go outside, Diesel? Well, you are putting your shoes on, so I thought that we might be going outside. Like these shoes down here? These? You, are you concerned about my shoes? Usually that means you're going outside. Come on. Get it all out, buddy. Get it all out. Oh, I've just got to stop for a little grass break here. Eat some of the grass. Oh, it tastes good. Diesel, stop eating the grass, man.
always clean up after your dog. Always, unless if it's in the bush or in the long grass, then who okay. cares? It's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look, it's like they're tobogganing on the snow. <laughs> they got all kinds of different things. And these game rooms are pretty much in every fine day. You guys wanna play some games? Oh, I don't think I have any cash though. I don't think I have any cash. What happened to this one? Well, that doesn't look great. I used to play these all the time. Every time I was with my dad during the summer, I would come here into these arcade rooms. I would demand, I want to play a game. Oh, it took okay. That was probably so annoying. Oh, well, they got fancy chairs in here. I think it's telling me I'm not supposed to sit in it. Diesel. Is there a weasel in this truck? Excuse me. I think I see a weasel. Is there a weasel over there? Diesel, come here. Diesel, who is this? Who is this, man? Who is that? Who is this? Hey, that's a moose, man. That's a moose. It's your moose. You want them? Take them. Good boy. Alright, my moose. <laughs> well, we're here at the Irving. Very near uh, New Brunswick border, I think. You can tell we're in Quebec, obviously, because of the big Quebec flag. But more so my point is you can tell we're in Quebec by the lack of Canada flags. Can't find them anywhere. There's two Quebec flags though. These are very similar to the Huskies, except Huskies fly big giant Canada flags, right? Because we're in Canada, makes sense. Uh, but since we're in Quebec, they only fly Quebec flags here. They don't fly Canadian flags. If they do, it's always in the lesser position, right? Quebec is always in the dominant position uh, in their flags, the way they fly them. Which to be honest is kind of an insult to the rest of the country. A big insult. But what can you do? It's how it is. It's just how it is. Nothing we can do but it's we might as well just enjoy nature. I found myself in nature again with diesel. This is a horse trail I think because there's a whole pile of horse droppings from the trail behind me there. We had to dodge them and go around them. I'm guessing horses go down there. That'd be nice. Point of diesel. You like horses too, I know you do. Yeah, you like horses. They're like smart cows. What do you got on your nose there? Can I get that? Mm. All right. Okay, well we don't have very much time to stop here. I can't really take you guys inside or anything. I just want to get to my destination. We called them and uh, we're going to be there tomorrow morning for them. Uh, my hours in my logbook aren't going to quite let me get all the way there. Very close, but I'll go there first thing in the morning. It worked out better for them anyways that way and me as well. Yeah. La Belle Provence. La Belle Provence. And that, my friends, is a day. That's a wrap, folks.
It's a wrap. Is my hair sticking up? That's okay. It's the end of the day. It's allowed to stick up. It's time to go to bed. Right, Diesel? Right, Diesel? Man, I've been in bed all day. Yeah, I've been busy napping all day. So yeah, it's been a good day. A little bit of a different kind of a vlog today. I wanted to try something new. Just to switch it up a little bit. I wanted to show you inside the places that I stop more often. I've been thinking about doing this for a while already. So I figured, you know what? Let's give it a shot today. Let's take more time and take more footage inside the places where I stop on a regular basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how it's going to turn out yet, but... Uh, <laughs> We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching today. Tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America is going to be another vlog from me. It's going to be about what I'm doing tomorrow. Makes sense. So tune in, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys.